morning students welcome back to our evs1 class in our last video we had finished with first part of our lesson number 7 food and nutrition we had seen that food constituents give strength to our body help us to do our daily work take care of functions like respiration and digestion helps in body growth and repair the wear and tear of our body provides nourishment to the body create energy store in the body and makes bone strong and also gives strength to fight against diseases and now we will proceed further if our body is to work properly it must remain healthy so we must include all the food constituents in our diet we get all these food constituents from different food stuffs in different quantities that is why we keep using different food stuffs in our daily meals such a diet ensures proper nourishment for our body students do you know some people believe that costly foods are more nourishing than inexpensive foods but that is not always true sometimes we eat expensive foods and we think it is very healthy so its cost must be high but it is not true all expensive foods are not more nourishing similarly all cheaper foods are not less nourishing students now we will learn how to preserve the nourishment in food ingredients while preparing food item some of the constituents in the food stuff can get destroyed so we can take the following precautions to avoid that let us see what are the precautions when cooking food add only as much water as is necessary we should add water only that much as it is required use pressure cooker or cover the food with a lid while cooking it using pressure cooker food will be cooked fast and also harmful substances will not enter sprout pulses before using them use them while the sprouts are still small do not wait for them to grow long sprouts are very beneficial for us it helps in digestion boosts blood circulation builds your immune system improve eyesight and many more use whole grain flour without sifting it is healthier for your blood sugar and also very nourishing so whole grain flour should be used without sifting eat fruits like chikkus figs grapes apple along with their skin skin of the fruit contains antioxidant which are beneficial to reduce the risk of several diseases vegetables like carrot radishes cucumber beetroot should be eaten raw in the form of salad whenever possible mix two or three food stuff in a dish for example add onions and potatoes to usals add drumstick to curries add some soaked dal while cooking vegetable students now we will see a tongue for tasting here is a short story for you as usual all children gathered in the garden in the evening monica tai said shall i tell you something funny about our tongue as children drew closer to her she said how do we make water sweet without sugar just try this chew an amla well and drink water right after that the water taste sweet have you all tried this after eating amla then when we drink water the water taste sweet really children never knew this said mary then balu said we learnt last year that 
our tongue help us to taste things but how does only one tongue tell us all the different taste subhash piped up so do you want a different tongue for every taste that made everyone laugh monica tai said balu we have only two eyes and how many colors do we see with them so one tongue can also tell us many taste students observe this wash your mouth clean your tongue out and look at it carefully you will see tiny pics on the tongue they are called taste buds these taste buds tell us the different taste see can you see in the picture on the tongue can you see the these are taste buds you will stand in front of the mirror remove your tongue out and see it carefully you will notice small small peaks on your tongue which are called as taste buds they are sensitive to different tastes such as sweet bitter sour and salty remember hot is not a taste students now let us see how tongue tell us the different taste you have to collect the following things sugar candy or jaggery salt tamarind or lemon fenugreek that is methi seeds a piece of an amla taste each of these things after tasting each one rinse your mouth with water wait for 2 minutes and then taste the next one in this manner you have to prepare the table see like this and you will write their taste in the taste column for you i have already written here let us see together for sugar candy or jaggery the taste will be sweet for salt the taste will be salty for tamarind or lemon how the taste will be it will be sour fenugreek that is called methi seeds how the taste will be bitter a piece of an amla how the taste will be of amla yes it will be sour so students here we have finished with our food and nutrition lesson i hope you all might have understood the lesson kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification